Hi everybody. So uh, I'm pretty much finished building my uh, jet intake and stomp grate. I was going to show you guys how this thing works. Um, I got a lot more grinding to do and a little bit more welding, but pretty much done with it. Anyway, so the way this thing works is normally, you know, if you've ever ran jet boats before in shallow water, you know, you'll start picking up rocks, you know. So anyway, it's kind of hard to get these out on an inboard because you got to reach way up underneath with your hand or you got to have a rake and feel around and get them out. Anyway, so what I've done here, and I didn't invent this, they, uh, they already make these, but I built a stomp grate for it. So realize that this is upside down and normally the rocks would fall out this way, not into the jet. So what I would do is, you know, if I picked up a bunch of rocks and started losing power, I would stop the boat out in some deep water, and then basically I'm going to make it where I can just pull a lever, and this grate will lift up and pivot on this hinge here, and these rocks should fall out. So here goes. Just like that. No more taking my shirt off and reaching up under the boat. This is going to be sweet. Anyway, I'm going to put the whole thing together, and I'll come back and show you how everything works. All right, see you in a minute. Hi okay, guys, so I put the jet pump in the uh, jet intake that I built. I built this silver part here, and I also built the, uh, the grate that we looked at a minute ago. This thing getting a little heavier now. Um, underneath it, which uh, right now I've got it locked down so it doesn't fall when I move it around. But anyway, I'll show you this real quick. I don't know if you can see this or not. Probably not from that far, but basically, uh, I'll just flip it back up. So basically the engine is going to couple to here through this rubber coupler. There'll be a uh, shaft here and a sprocket and it's going to drive with a chain from the motorcycle engine which will basically be sitting over here. Anyway, so they'll spin this, it turns the impeller inside, sucks water up and pumps it out the back. And then for turning, this is called the, the nozzle. You turn this, it also has up and down for trim and tilt. So like you can shoot it way up in the sky or shoot it down towards the water. That's basically it. Oh yeah, and I also um, have another option uh, I just bought. I need to replace this part here. Uh, I need to put it together, but I'm going to be putting reverse on this boat. So basically there's a new one of these end parts here that has these brackets that come out here and holds this big cup. Now I'm not going to use this, I'm going to make my own reverse cup, but just to show you how it works, so like if you're going forward, you know, the jet stream is blowing out of here, moving the boat forward, when you want to stop or go reverse, you just slam this down into reverse, the jet stream hits it, and now it goes towards the front of the boat and slows you down. Anyway, so that'll work just like that. It'll pivot on a couple of brackets that hang out of here. So that's basically it. I still got some welding to do and a lot of grinding. Uh, but I think in the next day or so, I'm actually gonna start building the boat itself because this was the hardest thing to build right here. It's pretty technical. Anyway, you guys have a good uh, night and I'll talk to you later.